In this lesson, you will learn about one of most dangerous cyber attack, which name is zero click attack. The stealth nature of zero click attacks makes them hard to avoid, whether you have an iPhone, Android device, Mac, or PC. Here's how they work and what you can do to fend off an attack. Zero click cyber attack can compromise a device without any action from its owner. Whereas other attack methods, phishing or smishing, for example, rely on social engineering to trick people into clicking bad links or initiating a seemingly legit download. Zero-click attacks use existing vulnerabilities and operating systems to get around that entirely. These types of attacks don't need to employ social engineering tactics to fool the victim and trigger the attack. No trigger is required. As long as the zero-click vulnerability is present on the target system, the attackers can walk right in. These are not to be confused with zero-day attacks, which are vulnerabilities that are actively being exploited and need to be patched immediately, but require user action to run. Zero-click attacks allow access to a device without the user taking any action, potentially ensnaring even the most tech-savvy people. Zero-click attacks exploit existing loopholes in the data verification function of apps and operating systems. Any system that parses data it receives to see if that data can be trusted is vulnerable to a zero-click attack. Attackers send bad code via email or messaging apps inside something that appears innocuous to the system, like a PDF, hidden image, or text message. A real-world example of this could be a vulnerability in an email messaging app on your phone. If a malicious hacker finds the vulnerability, all they'd have to do is send you an email message containing their bad code. Once the email is received, that code activates and infects the target phone, giving the hacker access to all the emails on your device. Even if the original email is deleted, the infection persists. And since we all delete emails we've read or don't recognize, chances are there won't be any trace of the attack left on your phone for very long. Malicious hacking groups often develop tools to take advantage of zero-click vulnerabilities and sell them for millions on the black market. Because of their nearly untraceable nature. Zero-clicks are often employed at the nation-state level by government agencies in espionage operations. How do zero-click attacks work? As you learned before an example, that how zero-click attack work. We divide this attack into five step. Number one, cyber criminals identify a vulnerability within a mail or messaging application. Number two, the bad actors exploit the vulnerability by sending a meticulously crafted message to the target device. Attackers often use specially formed data like a hidden text message or a pixel, to inject compromising code onto the device. But it could also be an authentication request, a voicemail, a video conferencing session, or even a phone call. Any of the above can be a vector to exploit a vulnerability in an application that processes and evaluates data. Number three, the vulnerability allows the attackers to infect the device remotely with malware, spyware, Trojans, etc., whatever they fancy. Number four, once the device is infected, attackers can typically access the device's contents, gain complete control over it, or even impersonate the owner and send messages on their behalf. Number five, by the time the victim realizes they've been attacked, it's too late. The attack has already happened and there's likely no trace of the attacker's compromising message on the device at this point. How to protect yourself from zero-click attack? Because zero-click attacks are based on no interaction from the victim, it follows that there isn't much you can do to protect yourself. While that is a daunting thought, it's important to remember that, in general. These attacks tend to be targeted at specific victims for espionage purposes or perhaps monetary gain. Keep your operating system, firmware, and apps on all your devices up to date as prompted. Only download apps from official stores. Delete any apps you no longer use. 
Avoid jailbreaking or rooting your phone since doing so removes protection provided by Apple and Google. Use your device password protection. Use strong authentication to access accounts, especially critical networks. Use strong passwords, that is long and unique passwords. Regularly backup systems. Systems can be restored in cases of ransomware, and having a current backup of all data speeds the recovery process. Enable pop-up blockers or prevent pop-ups from appearing by adjusting your browser settings. Scammers routinely use pop-ups to spread malware.